Hey guys, hope you are doing well. So this video is all about how to list your property in Airbnb. My channel already has a similar video but that was uploaded in my native language Malayalam. So this time I decided to upload the video in English so that multiple people, I mean people from different parts of the country will get benefits from my video. So that's the reason. So let's get started. So first of all you need an airbnb account in order to list in airbnb you need an airbnb account so for that search airbnb in google and you will get a link like this airbnb.co.in click on that so the first page this is the first page of airbnb and here you can see like airbnb your home click on that and there is another option like airbnb setup click on that so it this will give you like four options like phone number facebook google you can create your airbnb account with google uh, apple id or email id so the best option is create your airbnb account using phone number or email id followed by this you have to enter your name your full name uh, your date of birth and a password for airbnb and when you enter your name you should be very careful do not give any nickname or anything like that you should give your proper name because there is a id verification from airbnb you have to and upload your government id card so they will check the name on airbnb with the id card name so it must match otherwise they will reject your account so that's all about this so you can log in because i already have an airbnb account so i am not showing that how to how to create this that you can do on your own if you have any doubts you can message me through instagram so i will give my instagram id on the description or on the first comment so you can contact me there okay so let me log into my account and let me explain how to list your property okay okay so here i logged into my account and it is showing like switch to hosting and in your case this will be like create a new listing so when you click on create a new, new listing it will come to a page let me show that in a moment so i have multiple listings so let me click on listings and let me click on the plus, plus icon so you can see a page like this create new listing create from an existing listing so here i have to create a new listing for my client so i am creating a new listing so get started tell us about your place so this is like what kind of property you are planning to list like multiple options are here house flat or apartment uh, like that multiple options are here and here i am planning to list a house so even it's a house or a flat or apartment or anything like that you you need to take a license from the local body otherwise you can't host i mean you can host but when when some legal issues arises then you might be in trouble so always take those necessary licenses from the local bodies and do the business that is always safe so here uh, here i am planning to list a house so i clicked on that so here you can like there are multiple options if you plan to sell it as an entire place like there is the nobody will be there except the guest so if you are planning to uh, rent like that then this is the option an entire place or if you are planning to rent a room like room wise that is another thing in airbnb like uh, if you are selling like rooms then the bookings will be rare maybe you will get a lot of bookings but that that completely depends on the location so airbnb is like a platform that you will get bookings for unique stays so if you are you should always very careful about this you should understand your location very well only then decide which option you should go so here in this in this case uh, uh, i studied that location very well and i know that end air place will work very well in that area so i am listing it like that 
an entire place and I have to enter the address so enter the address like if you are listing from the exact location you can use my current location or if you are sitting somewhere and listing your property then you have to enter your address manually so here i entered the address right now i have to find the the exact location in map so for that click on next and it will show like a pin so you can add so this is a tedious task actually you have to be very pre precise and you have to be very careful with this so let me do that yeah so i got the correct location and click on next and right now you can add like the basic details like guest how many you can accommodate in your property and the number of bedrooms number of beds and number of bathrooms and the amenities that you're planning to provide there like wi-fi we provide wi-fi tv kitchen washing machine free parking then ac dedicated workspace everything we have there then these are the standard amenities this one we don't have because it's a city city area and we don't have these things there yeah this one we have like first aid fire extinguisher we don't have first aid we have so i have given those details then you need to add photos so right now i'm adding only a few this is the same photos actually i didn't took the latest photos i have to go there and take it so in order to explain this i am putting all the photos i mean the same photos upload so that is done photos uploaded click on next you can uh, you can edit all these things later so uh, right now you have to give a good title for your property so i have written like private property in kochi this one i will change later i just given this for explanation and now you have to write your description for this you can check your nearby listings what they have written based on that you can create your own listing description you can add like like there are common questions like what about food what about the network these are the common questions you can write this or if is there any famous tourist location in your in your surroundings you can write that because this is the first thing that when a, when a guest try to book this is the first thing they read so this must be very attractive so right now you can leave it like this and click on next you can edit these things later click on next now you have to use this instant booking because instant booking will give you more bookings or when we turned on this guest have to message you first then only after getting approval from you they they can book so this is an extra step for them and this will reduce booking so always use instant booking if the situation demands you can use like approve or decline request like if you are hosting for monthly stays then you have to approve approve the messages from guests you have to uh, ask maybe you have to ask many questions and only after that you can accept bookings so based on that situations you can turn on uh, like approve or decline i mean you can turn off instant booking right now you, you have to give pricing and this pricing this is not a fixed pricing i mean you have to work on the pricing every day or every month weekly or monthly you have to work on this based on the demand you have to uh, increase or decrease the pricing so 
right now i am giving like 5000 rupees i have that did a very good market research in that area so i know how how it works there so right now i right now i am giving 5000 rupees click on next now this is a new listing so this will airbnb will ask you whether you have to put this offer 20 percentage if you are okay you can go with that or you can click on that then this will be this will go i mean this won't apply now if, if this if this is applicable for you you can click I mean you can put all this tick now this is the preview I have given an offer so that's why it's showing like this 4000 rupees and all these things you can add, adjust after publishing you can edit all these things so no worries about this and if you plan to I mean after publishing this if you are planning to rent the property after one or two weeks you can simply go to the calendar and block the dates you can do that so right now I am, I am publishing this so in your case this won't publish because you have to add the bank account so after hitting the publish button uh, this will come like this then you can click on let's get started then it will take you to the uh, calendar or listing page then from there you have to go to the payout section and add the bank account details so that i will show you in a moment in order to add the bank account you have to click on your profile and then you have to click on account there you can see an option like payments and payouts click on that click on payouts and here you can see add payout method click on that and you can click on this bank account continue and follow the steps like you can whose bank account is it because i have multiple account holders i mean i have added multiple accounts in my account so that's why i got an option like this so new account holder personal enter the details or oh, enter the details and then the next step you have to enter the um, pan card and the account number etc etc click on next next and you can add your account and you have to wait around five days i think three to five days you have to wait and if the bank account is ready airbnb will mail you that your bank account is ready and you can host now so in your case you can't publish initially but after verifying your bank account you can publish that and host so this is all about airbnb how to take a, how to list your property uh, you can try that and if you have any doubts you can message me you can comment here or you can message me through instagram i have given the instagram link in the first comment and also in the youtube description you can check that and if you are looking for a team to market and manage your property you can always contact me i am here to help you and if you want me to make some videos about airbnb some areas you can comment about that and i will try to make a video so this is all about this video see you